Question one is on wrapping lunch. When Sally runs her hand over a piece of plastic lunch wrap to straighten it, it becomes electrically charged. First question A is explain what causes the lunch wrap to become electrically charged. Well, remember, whenever anything is electrically charged, there is a, a shift uh, in electrons. So, uh, with the pairing of positive protons and the negative electrons that are orbiting around them, with uh, equal numbers of protons and electrons in, in atoms, for something to become charged, it either has to lose or gain electrons, which is the shift we're talking about. <clears throat> for instance, this one here, if we get rid of that electron, you've now got a positive charge that's sitting by itself, so it becomes positively charged. However, if we put that electron back and add another electron, it becomes negatively charged because we've added an extra electron uh, on. So there's one more electron than proton. So in this case, um, that shift in electrons. We don't know whether it's added or removed electrons, but the other thing we need to look at is how has this shift occurred? And it's due to the rubbing. Okay, uh, some people talk about the friction between uh, between her hand and the lunch wrap. So remember, it's the hand and the lunch wrap that is uh, being straightened by her hand. Um, what happens is uh, one of those, um, the lunch wrap or the hand, <coughs> will be will have a is a, um, something called electronegativity, and that's really a measure of how uh, comfortable the uh, the material there is at holding onto electrons. So one of those is more comfortable holding onto electrons than the other. So the plastic lunch wrap or the hand has a slightly stronger pull on electrons. And uh, how this has become charged then is that through the rubbing process or close contact, um, the some electrons have been stripped off of one and put onto the other. So rubbing causes the shift in electrons, we have more on one than the other, and that leads to the charge. Uh, B. Sally's dad thinks that the lunch wrap becomes electrically charged because charges are created. So that's important, that's why I've underlined it. When Sally runs her hand over the piece of plastic lunch wrap. Explain whether Sally's dad is correct. Well first off, we're going to say no, it's not correct. Uh, or we'll just write it as not correct, and this is because charges cannot be created through this process, so no charges created. We've explained very clearly in the question above um, how the charging occurs. There's no charges created, the charges are just shifted, so there's just a shift in uh, electrons which are negative, causing a charge imbalance. So causing a charge imbalance, and there's nothing actually created or destroyed in this, just shifted around. So I think that really covers the main details. C, part one. When Sally picks up the lunch wrap, it sticks to her hand. Her hand is positively charged. In the diagram below, draw the charge distribution on the lunch wrap. So here we have the positively charged hand with all the positive charges, and here is the lunch wrap. Now, if the electrons have shifted, clearly they've shifted off the hand and onto uh, the lunch wrap, because uh, let's just write this here. There's four on there, so we'll draw four on, on the lunch wrap. Um, because it's positive on the lunch wrap, that means the electrons that were paired with those protons have been removed, leaving it positive alone. Okay. Now, uh, there's, there's uh, something <laughs> a little bit more detailed about this than what the marking schedule provides. The marking schedule says that they're negative all over. But in actual fact, what you would find is that um, the top end of this uh, plastic wrap would be more negative more negative than the bottom. The bottom would be less negative. It could even be positive. Okay, so it might even be positive down this end. 
because um, the electrons are able to move from this end up to this end of the plastic wrap and they are attracted to the positive hand, that's why they move. P positive charges can't move and so they're left behind sitting in place down here. So um, that could actually happen as well. Part 2. Sally then straightens a piece of wrinkled aluminium foil in the same way. So we're dealing with aluminium foil in exactly the same situation. When she picks it up she notices it does not stick to her hand. Using physics concepts explain why the plastic lunch wrap sticks but the aluminium foil, aluminium foil does not stick. So uh, this is a very good question and uh, it, it follows a process of comparing and contrast. Okay, so uh, we should do this. The comparison, they're both flat um, uh, paper-like, I guess, paper-like film even, um, substances. They're both rubbed. Um, they're both substances that uh, have electrons, as all substances do, and m maybe electrons move. It's quite likely because the hand is different material from the aluminium foil, so they'll both likely have um, different uh, willingness to hold on to electrons as we were talking about before. So let's contrast between the aluminium foil and the, um, and the cling wrap. Um, the aluminium foil is metal and the cling wrap is not. Um, this means uh, a metal is a good conductor where the, um, the, the cling wrap is not. Uh, this means as a conductor it's a good source of electrons. So the electrons are readily available. Okay, so what would this mean when we're talking about the charge imbalance? <coughs> well, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'll just clear my throat and then come back. Okay, I think I've cleared my throat. Um, so we were contrasting, and we saw that metal is a conductor, the aluminium foil that is, is metal and a good conductor and a good source of electrons. So wrapping it up, no pun intended, uh, the the aluminium foil doesn't get charged in the same way because it conducts any charge imbalance quickly away. So let's just write that down so it's there. Uh, conducts charge imbalance away. So that means if one end of the metal becomes charged it'll very quickly even itself out so that you'll have no uh, uh, attraction to the hand. Um, and in fact any charge on the hand will be um, balanced out by the, con by the quick conduction and, ra and huge source of electrons of the metal. Um, so the charge imbalance just won't stay there if it'll even appear in the first place. Now I just have to go quickly back because I think there was a wee bit more... Uh, no, no it doesn't. I thought the question above needed more detail. Um, but there you go.